Fiji in their alternate strip, the black kit, and it's brought down by Viliami Mata, one of their key carriers this tournament. Most definitely in this match. It'll be there for Lamani. To put it up off that right boot of Toja getting in nice and close. And Marcus Smith and underneath this first touch for the young man in his second start at fullback in England looking with some early running here. Here's Toy Lange in a early collision. Some of those big bodies, I think we're going to see plenty of those. Farrell across the line. For Ben Earl. A change of direction here, a switch of play from England. Smith playing up in the line and nice and tight as Laws carries well and is brought down by Mayat the Levu, Fiji's wonderful captain. Again, Smith in close, throws a dummy and almost through, just tipped up by Narcella Silla. Tackle needed to be made, but this is a tidy start from England. Now Farrell tries a little chip kick over the top and it lands nicely for Johnny May. With Titu coming across. He's been really pressing off this kickoff. As Elish Genge is tipped up on the 22. Again, look, has been a real workhorse for him. And the number eight, oh, Botia, though. The first incursion from Levani Botia. Oh, promising start from England. More carries than they've made in a while, I think, to start the game. They've got the ball back. They've been quite patient. Up and down in that midfield. Couple of little changes of direction. Really good start until... Levon Mbottia got his hands on it again. How important is he to this Fijian course? Not the tallest man. Low centre of gravity when he gets his mitts on the ball, it ain't coming out. Four. Nine. No. Oh. So, who only took over as Fiji head coach eight months ago and has seen them to a third ever quarter final. Ekinaviri, new hooker. Getting his first start and makes a nice start of it too. And here is oh, Bortia running back in a huge hit from Genj. And now some room, some hands are brilliant. Hawassi down the right hand side on the centering kick as he's bundled over the sideline at the same time. A lot of English fans in the crowd, a lot of fans supporting the neutrals, all supporting Fiji. Beautiful little slip pass there on, onto the outside. The kick goes out on the full. Botia, what a tackle it is in the midfield. First throw for Jamie George, who went 80 minutes, and that very clunky win England had over Samoa last week. Just Only white on the ground. The side. Ball goes to ground, or more goes to ground rather, and ball oh, plucked away by Mata in there for Fiji. So turnover ball comes again for Fiji and Tangi Tangi Valu. It's sloppy, it's difficult to clear at the back. And now a crossfield kick comes with Fiji, finds some open spaces, I think just on his own side of halfway. It's a superb kick. We're just on England's side of halfway, perhaps. Great contest at the mall. Eventually, eventually it came out on the Fijian side. The kick just inside, not a 50-22. Pressing defence from England. Very close to that offside line. Well, that's one thing Owen Farrell does do. He, he centres the defence, he's physical, he makes the big hits, and that's a, a decent strike. Not late, he's committed, it's yeah. a good solid hit. in the middle. George will tuck it under the right arm. Fiji did a great job at the last ball. This time England a little more momentum and now they've got good momentum. Great go forward as they stay connected to each other. Somewhere in there there's the ball in the hands of Itoje. End up, end up. End up. What is it? Available. Stay back. Alex Mitchell wasn't even included in the original squad. Sends us up for Andradra to carry and leap into the air, Semir Andradra. England have got hands over this ball, though. It's just going to squeeze out for Fiji. Again, Botitu goes to the air. This one should be fielded comfortably by Smith at the back, and it is so. Done. Done. Uh, 
that's a good kick. We've seen Fiji become a little more organised, a little more structured, almost like a top-tier nation, you might say, and bring in a little bit more of the kick into the game, and there's a prime example. Here comes Fiji with a little running for this real touch for Joshua Tuisova to clatter his way up to halfway. Big ball carries and carriers in this Fiji side, and there's a little hole for one of the smaller men tries to flick a ball out the oh, back wow. of the hand. No look pass, and Botito went well forward. But just a little bend in that line. Oh, a little show and go. Bit of space. If that had gone to hand, there was drama. Well, I said it before, and it's, it's, it's not the most fluid halfback combination, but they, they somehow they become very effective. Look okay? at this. Oh, the big hits in the midfield. Good tackle from Ellis Gange. Okay. Two is over. We know he carries it up powerfully. There's a little inside show into the space. Now we go, oh, guys. A little bit of a hallelujah pass. Probably not the best option. Needed a, maybe a little bit more patience there. Luke, remind what I asked you. Sam, please. An area where both sides have been good, actually. The scrum has been very good for England. Highly successful for Fiji. It'll be a great contest. Watch. Teammates, club teammates yes. against each other yes. there, and it's a free kick for England. Mitchell's tapped and gone quickly, while Fiji had their backs turned. England pile forward. Now at the levy puts a good shot on March and to slow it up, and they've got in and won another penalty. Oh, on the run. Oh, they're up Release. for the Fiji. Any contest. Yeah. Okay, Bossy, the winger, has come in there and made the steal. Did well there, he was part of the tackle, did well to give daylight. It's an area that you expect Fiji to be good at. They're all so strong, they're all so powerful. Yeah, and the great thing about Fiji is that every single player is capable of, uh, of jackling the ball at the breakdown because they've got such strong pillars. Look at the duck, duck legs there. It's the perfect position to get his hands over and you won't shift from that position. Habozi doing a sterling job there at the breakdown. for Tavita Ikinaviri. Goes to the front. Where Tangi Tangi Valu is there. Ball out the back. Rushing up and doing well, but keeping that ball alive and getting in closes. A ball seat. Left wing it, looking for action. Good hands down low, great hands down low from Draw Sessi. Signs off! In a concerted period of... Pressure down this end for Fiji. Now Silla Silla this time carries. It's nice quick ball for Lamani. And a big wide ball for Randraja to bump Smith off. He comes back at him. He was brave, Marcus Smith. But it's front football for Fiji again. Flying up once more. He just about breaks down until he saw the has to collect. And keeping it alive through Tangi this time. Now it's England's turn for a steal. And Courtney Laws obliges. Great work from the, the tall flanker, Courtney Laws. He's played a bit in the second row, two metres tall, got, got down nice and low, got a good steady foundation and made the jackal. PG ball in hand, trying to make a couple of offloads, trying to just do something a little different to what we've seen in the last few weeks. And that's a great kick. Oh, Sammy Randradre inspiring, inspiring for the... The back's inspiring for the whole team. It's not just the fact that he's trying to have a go, but he's presented the ball so well. Bit of space. We want to see him in space. England throw for a Toje. It's quick ball off the top. Mitchell, they work really quickly here to Ilangi. Clattering into the Fiji defence. And they've got advantage as well. Okay. Flat and hard and tipped up. Advantage not to all the Mitchell giving quick service. They've got it wide really quickly again. As Johnny May goes just a couple of metres away. Mitchell a little dart down the blind side. It closed pretty quickly, the gap. Well read by Lamani. They're going to go to the penalty. Back here. Just, you have the number. Tackle not roll away. I tackle. And tackle not roll away. Yeah, tackle not roll away. And potential attack as well. Around the neck. 
They're not full away. Nice explained by Matera. And I'll, it's just quite dynamic from England, isn't it? They've, they've got over that game line quickly. They were flat and hard with real purpose. So hard to defend against that. There's the high tackle. Two is over. Just a little high on his opposite number. And two and he came at pace with real purpose. And uh, makes all the difference when someone's as inspired, as motivated as that to get over the game line. Penalty kick for England. Scored by number 10, Owen Farrell. The score is the 3 for Angleterre, at 0 for the Fiji. The score, England 3, Fiji 0. Restart lands in the hands of Maro Otoje. Courtney Laws, they set the drive. Peel off some good metres. Well, Mitchell wanted to go and then it went away from him once more. Still going forward here, England. Once again, controlled nicely. Genge comes off away with it. Mitchell at the base of that ruck. And forward to a set set. And there's a collision and a tangle of bodies in there somewhere. It's going to be a penalty against Fiji as Elliot Daly came forward, hit the ground. Such a big part of the game, the box kick and the chase so important this time. Maybe a little bit of crossing over, blocking the tram of the chaser. It's a bad penalty to give away. We saw one or two yesterday, one or two last night. It's a, it's a soft penalty to give away. You've just got to give the man the ground and make it a contest. Oh, such a little shift, but a shift nonetheless. Viliame Mato just stepped half a foot across, but certainly made the, the block effort. England have absorbed some pressure from Fiji. Now get another chance down in Fiji's end, and they'll drive on Marawatoje. There's Jamie George, hits his mark, he's got it funneled to the back, tucked under the right wing of the hooker. Mitchell wants it, he's not going to get it yet though, as again they roll forward, England. Well controlled, now it goes to ground and the ball spills out for Mitchell to come away down the blind side. It's a and real mess, they've got advantage again, England. So a free shot here for Tui Lange to the line, Tui Lange rolling over! Money Tui Lange in for England! Well, it's the mall doing all the damage, isn't it? Getting real go forward, sucking in defenders, creating space all over the park. And Tui Lange was able to just get in at the corner there. But it's the second or third mall in a row where England have just dominated, made some space. And oh, the late switch, Tui Lange came around. He's strong and powerful, and over he goes. This will be a great view angle. Real twisting effort. A lot of brutal defense coming his way. He's done really well as. Manu Tuilangi. Some of Farrell lines his kick up. Oh, Jamie George getting some treatment right in the, the line of the kick. Farrell from wide to add two more to England's total. Off the uprights it goes. The try goes unconverted, but England lead 8-0. It's really good work, isn't it, from England, uh, the way that they move forward. Those uh, malls that you mentioned, uh, uh, Joel, it's exactly that. They move forward very well, and afterwards you can see that Farrell getting the ball into the hands of uh, Tua Lange, but uh, Alex Mitchell doing really well to tease the uh, Fijian defence before uh, the ball came out. again as it's cleared away downfield by that man Mitchell he's a lively halfback as I said wasn't even included in the original squad came in when Jack Van Poortvliet got injured 
And boy, hasn't he done well. And Robbie just mentioned that he's controlled things nicely. Argentina, they'll be happy, those youngsters. <laughs> Little fella wanted to get a photo with no, the ball England. before he had to give it back. England. Step on the line. Did you? Front door for Nassua oh, Nassua, just a Nassua, suck, one suck of the to... very impressive jump, players yeah. this tournament for Fiji. Use it, nice. Lomani well, rolls a little kick over the top, should be easily fielded, and it is by Elliot Daly down that left wing. Not a lot of room to move. It's a good clearance back downfield to send Fiji into their own 22. Away! And now returning favour. Onside. Some open space here for Smith, and you hear the England fans roar every time he gets the ball. Want to see him run. He was well caught by Tui Sauber, and look at the physicality from Fiji as Nayath Alevu plucks it away. Counter ruck is brilliant. Lomani, it's quick for Tangi, and it's a good carry from the tight head prop. England looking to shoot up on Bortitu, somehow okay. slipped that ball away. Offside. Playing advantage, they did shoot up too quickly. Bortia swings it away for Andrade in close, and they'll go back to that penalty. Oh, yeah. Great counter ruck, wasn't it? Couple of ways to turn it over. If it's not, if it's not the flanker Botia turning it over, it's the, the strength of power just shifting the, the whole ruck backwards and superbly done. Shot at goal, it's gonna be. Here is your mark. Well, he kicked pretty well as we see that tackle again. Well, well tackled by two is over, and then came the counter ruck from the backs forwards combining. The captain, Martha Labo, just Picking and going, and then there was some real good quick ball that came out, which is why England got caught offside. Frank Lamani kicked pretty well last time. He kicks with a big hook. He's going to have to start this outside the right hand upright. Fiji on the board, there is the big hook, off the post it comes, almost bounced over, but it's there for England to clear away, but down as far as, or yeah, just outside the 22, so a miss for Lamani. Yeah, low and left and hooking, and oh, millimetres away from going in off, but a miss nonetheless, a little let off for England. Fiji's line-out has worked well, considering no Thiriki Daveta, no Maya Navanua, as they roll forward again to Isorba. Acrobatic. He can have very back and field, it's read by Atolje. They're going to round upon him and chase him down. Defense incredible from Atolje. Eventually, Tangi Tangi Valu stops him on the 22, but England's turn to come forward. Ball lost, disrupted. Stop. And Stop. The referee's Stop. called a stop and play. We have a full play. And they're uh, going to go back, back and have a look at Tui Sova. No arm tackle. All the way back on yeah, England's 23. Yeah, sorry to delay that, Matthew. Oh. Uh, it's 10 metres outside. Yeah, I see it. 10 metres outside. So it's going to be foul play. Joshua Tui Sova has stayed down. He's the man getting treatment. No arms, low dive, grass cuts are very dangerous. No arms tackle. They might just have a look at this as well. Number seven, White. Oh, yeah, that is, uh, that's a grass cutter. So dangerous, does so much harm to the knees if you get that completely timed. Perfectly or badly, perfectly badly, you might say. White House TMO, is satisfied it's just a penalty, although... Two right now. Uh, they're going to have Here another look. Now, they're having another look now. It's Tom Curry. He doesn't really look. dive in, does he? he? He sort of ducks down and. Okay, penalty kick on Lee. No, yeah, no, I think no. that's right. He, do, he doesn't okay. dive in with any real intent. He just goes down, no arms. Definitely yes, a penalty. Yes. Okay. Okay, no arms tackle, penalty kick. 
Now there's another Fijian player back down and back there. It might be Luke Tangi, I think he was chasing back to make the tackle on Utoja. He's trying to run it off. It's a heck of an effort from the prop to get back there. And he looks super comfortable at the moment, Luke Tangi. To his Sova, though, up and about. Hit the post with his first just moments ago. Lamani gets a do over and swings this one in and over the uprights to get Fiji on the board. To the applause of the little fans as well, and the older ones too. Eight points to three. You know, I think uh, Fiji really needs to just focus on that quick ball. Um, the moment that Tua Silva went through into the defense, that the English. Um, uh, players were scrambling back into position. If they continue to do that, quick ball could work very well for Fiji. Viliami Mata brings down the restart. 20 minutes gone, eight points to three. It's been a willing contest so far. This one floating towards and over the sideline. Yeah, good clear, it's nice and simple. Get it out of there. See, the other thing with Frank Lamani is he's been working on that pass of his last week. I thought he was floating them up into the midfield. They've been a lot firmer so far today. England begin their attack from just inside their own half. It's a great short ball for Marchant, who hit the line hard. Tackler coming across, needed to be made. They come forward again, the white shirts. There's Marcus Smith, a little show and go, and then heavy contact again. How bossy it was, he made the tackle. Kind of look sharp on attack. And Smith is still down in back play. Heading out towards his way and creating some space down the right for Johnny May, who's somehow kept it in field two. Still play on here for Sorry. England. Okay, advantage. They've got advantage again, England. EG conceding under pressure. And their line is under pressure again, not rolling out of there for sure. Laws. Off the back of the hand, Tuilangi's already got one. Mitchell nice and quick and lively again, short again for Laws. England ploughing towards the Fiji line. Hanging tough in defence though, space wide. Or back and field, chopping and changing and weaving his way check, check, check. is Joe Marchant. Okay. What do you want to check, Benny? I'm going to show you a foul play head contact tackle yeah. by Fiji on number 15, England. Okay. Well, Marchant is off. in. They're going to go back and have a look Come at off. that hit on Smith. Marcus Smith earlier in the passage. Yeah, Okay, put it on the screen, please, Ben. Yeah, it's coming on the screen now, Mathieu. It's the 14, right? Yeah, number 14. Okay. Well, it is head to head. And it's a shame we so don't make a look at this because right. it's such a good try we should be okay, talking about. Clear contact to the head, so that made the yellow card threshold. I will give a yellow card to the 14 black and I send it for field review. Yeah, agreed. Okay. So it is going to be a yellow card, and it's off to the bunker for review. It's a shame. 14. Marcus Captain. Smith is taking a little bump. Captain. Bossy is going to spend 10 minutes in the sin bin. Probably quite rightly. I think there'll be mitigation there, though. It's a Captain, stop please. late change. He was low. Smith is coming across to the side, too, as is Luke Tungy oh, for Fiji. He's up right. OK, clear red contact. So that's a yellow card, and go for a field review. OK. So... To recap, a try to Joe Marchant in England, a yellow card and a bunker review for Hawasi. Marcus Smith coming to the side and Luke Tungy as well. And a great try, most importantly, a real solid build-up from England. Power, pace, strength, skill, everything you want, everything you could wish for. Put a blood there on Marcus Smith. It'll probably be an HIA and a blood repair, you might say.
Yeah, that's what I'm seeing down here as well. Okay, and uh, you can just see that Liu Tang is going off and he's going to be replaced by Masaki uh, Dong-e. And Mark Smith, of course, replaced to her by Oli Lawrence, who comes on. Well, most importantly, it's a really good try. And he's stepper of note, isn't he, Joe March? Okay. He's coming to the midfield off the wing. Good step there. A lot of work to do, but the build-up was just really, really good from England. Lots of carries, lots of defenders beaten, a couple of offloads, everything they haven't done so far in the tournament. 15 points to three, England lead Fiji. And Fiji down to 14 men for now. We'll wait the fate of Vinaya Hawalsi. For the Fiji substitution for Fiji, the number three Luke Tagi is replaced by the number 18 Misake Dongue. Well, now Fiji's lineup goes astray for the first time in the match, so England with all the momentum at the moment. Substitution for England number 15. Mark Control Smith on the scoreboard for now. Mitchell only sends Lawrence. it up, this drifts towards the sideline, and it's gone out on the full mistake from England's halfback. One of the few he's made, actually, he's been really good through the course of the tournament. Really good so far today. Fiji's line out now will have to become a little more accurate. Well, they've gone quickly here. Have Fiji to Isova. It was well read by Ben Earl to Good stop to Isova, but they've earned a penalty here. Fiji. Seven, takes the nine. And gives Tom Curry. Well, they have a player off. Do you kick for goal and wind the clock down a little? Do you kick it down in goal. the corner? They, they're going to go for goal. It's, it's probably the sensible decision. Carry their penalised for playing the scrum off. Three points will be of enormous value at a time like this. But more importantly, when they receive the ball back, they're going to be a man short. They're going to have to work it out of their danger zone. Assuming, of course, the kick goes over. to clear off into touch a crucial miss isn't it kick five out of five against Portugal one out of three so far this afternoon no numbers four five you said five okay thank you Fiji's last lineup was sloppy being been good and that's much better for Sucking the jumper. will be there eventually for Fiji to clear. Toy Silver, they've looked after him well so far. Curry again with the tackle. Ikinaveri, that's a nice charge from the hooker. Lomani will switch it back to the left with Albert Toy playing in the second row today. And there's a second row mate, Narcilla Silla. England trying to get hands on it, not quite there for them. Flat from a standing start. Fiji in close. They turn to try and put some pressure on, and they have shown a little bit of bend in that England line. Here's the new man, Masaki Dongi, on in jersey 18. Botito to the line, almost through. The hands are brilliant. It was the ball from Zoe Sorba. Couldn't quite link up with Rundradra. But a real crack here for Fort Fiji as they go flying oh, onto the ball. Oh, oh, oh. Five metres short of the England line. They've got advantage too. It's scooped up. Still there for Fiji. They've kept it alive brilliantly. And Mutt has thrown it. Worldy of a dummy to score for Fiji. Muliami Mutta. Aren't they sensational ball in hand, Fiji? Oh, the little show, the offload behind the, the tackler. The audacious dummy. 
down him, man. They've just plugged no, no, away in the through. midfield. A no couple of really strong carries from Tavita Canevera. Gave them good go for it. We've gone upstairs, have we, for a little look? Oh, there's no ball. That's what it is. Great try, though. Great bounce back, having conceded a few moments ago. A man down. So important psychologically there. Just get something on the board, particularly when you've missed a kick as well. It's such a crucial time to score. Okay, thanks. Lomani converts the mutter try. The gap closes all of a sudden. Fiji get themselves right back into it, 15 points to 10. Lomani. Le score est de 15 pour l'Angleterre, à 10 pour les Fiji. The score, England 15, Fiji 10. Sorry. Matthew, just Silver. a decision from the foul play review. Yeah. Uh, it remains a yellow card. Okay. Time off. OK. It remains a yellow card due to a late change of direction. OK. High level of danger, mitigation. Just, guys, the, the, the yellow card remains a yellow card because there is a mit mitigation, okay? So there is a, there is a step inside, so that, that's a mitigation, okay? Change of direction, thank you. A little last smile from Owen Farrell, like he would know about mitigation. When you want time He's on. been to a few tackle schools, hasn't he? And Fiji will get their winger, Vinaya Habosi back. I was to say, Tui Saul was getting some treatment after that try as the kick's charged. Draw Sessi. Has to go back and tidy up, and that might open things up here, Fiji, for Andradra. Curry came across and shut it down, and Fiji just have to reset and regather here. I think there was a big forward pass there, wasn't there? They got a bit lucky. Umani sends it to the safety of the touchline, only 25 or 30 odd metres out from his own line, though. Oh, there's the delightful little offload. Just couldn't link up there too, Sova. Did well to carry. Good clean out. Oh. Kept the momentum going. That is just the most sensational dummy. One. Stay at two meters. George goes deep down the back to carry. It's nice ball again from the line out for England. And here they come once more, March. And one of the try scorers through the hands they go. The wingers combining. Daly and May. And then stopped. Right, Tui Silver and. Mortier. England look to press once more. While oh, Fiji is still one short. Itoje has been prominent. He ain't going through there, though. Chill clears. Flat across the face. Another big shot. Huge shot as Laws is driven into the side and the neutrals get on their feet once more. Great hits in that midfield, and Courtney Laws didn't like this. Carried and bundled into touch. Wonderful defense, particularly yeah. when you're a man short. Gee, they've aimed up with Hamosi in the Sinbin. Just over a minute of that to go. We're into the final 10 of this no, absorbing okay. first point. half. Entry point is fine. Well, England might have come through and really disrupted here, though. Excellent work from England's forwards. Don't touch your head. It's the kind of place where they really need to Don't try to get rid of the ball. Okay. You know, they're quite happy chucking the ball around in their own half, but sometimes you just need to make that exit. You need to make that exit kick, kick and just get it out of there because at the moment they're just playing in their own half and they'll play into England's hands down in, that, in their own backyard. I'm not sure the call there was for a ball. I think it, it was so unstructured and maybe a little bit off the cuff. It just sort of happened in England. When it happened, just put hands in the right place. It's fine, sir. Fine. Scrum oh, penalty. Second. Second time. Oh. Second time.
just undoing some of the good work. Marcus Smith just uh, came back out. I think he's passed his uh, HIA, ready to get back onto the pitch. Closing in on 1,200 test points. Strikes this one, slides it inside that right hand, that right, and extends England's advantage once more. As the man who he surpassed is England's all time leading point scorer, watches on. 18 points to 10. Kabasi makes his way back on. Not too much damage. Laws brings down the restart once more. And oh, him and Itorje just got in a wee tangle there, but. No obstruction. Yes. Mitchell being asked if he's has to use it. He does. He's cleared well from this area. That one's come off a Fiji hand. They've kept Body it. Stretch. Have they? Just about inside. But it did. It was touched on the way through. So it'll be England storage in the line out. Now in. Nice clean shirt for Marcus. He had a bit of blood on the front of the other one and. Good to see him up and about. He's, I think he's quite important in the England cause, isn't he? Just brings other options from the back. Come away quickly this time from the line out to England. With a hard working number eight. Well, once more, Mitchell's going to shape to send this high. It does so. Fiji coming forward. It's knocked away in the air and it's. Come off an England hand first, has it? Yes. It's a really good kick, isn't it? That's the one thing we can say. Alex Mitchell's box kicking has, has been just superb. Here's the little offload. 23. What a ball that is. And then the ball through the legs, Strong and here comes the dummy. Oh, 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 there we go. Strong. Brilliant. Just going back to his box kicking. I mean, the important thing with the box kick is the distance and the height need to combine perfectly, give your chases time to get underneath it and jump and contest. They've been absolutely spot on. In the meantime, Smith has just come back on. Ollie Lawrence gone back to the England bench. England's tight five being implored. And a penalty from the last scrum. Crutch! Bind! Set! Solid base for Fiji though. And Lamani. Huge ball for Andrade early. Trying to get him in a little bit of space, a bit of room. Now it's England's turn to pile through, but Lamani just plucked it away in the nick of time. His raw sissy hangs on too. And penalty England. That's a good decision from Matera now. Nathalabu just sealed it off and he, he did well to get there in the first place. He was part of the ruck just before that. England rush defence, okay. just forcing okay. Fiji into channels they might not normally play. This is a terrible long pass. It just doesn't help anyone. Samir Andradra gets man and ball, no space, shift defence, killing that, that little area and look at that straight over the ball he goes. Tries to stay on his feet but too, too far past and, and killing the contest. Oh, did all that work to get it back to 15 10 Fiji, and now a couple of penalties in the last few moments. Oh, and 
Farrell's hitting them really nicely this evening. And he extends England's lead as we nudge towards half-time. And Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales, watches on. England now out 21 points to 10. But if there's one thing Fiji should have learned before this game is you don't give penalties away in kickable zones to Owen Farrell. Gonna get some ball back here though. Accidentally offside. No contact, a player in front. Kick off and restart. Just flirted with the sideline. England had to make a play at it. Yeah, here is it, Marcus. Good chase as well. There was indecision amongst those English forwards. They'll be happy. I think they'll be really happy. Steve Baltic's team have showed more with ball in hand this afternoon than they've probably shown through the course of the tournament. Of course, their big game was Argentina. It was drop goals that got them out of sight in that game. Bye. Set. Mata controls it in the back for Fiji. Oh. And now they're just creeping forward a little bit here. And Fiji, it spills out the side. Olamani just scoops it up for Habos. He spins out a one. Important opportunity for Fiji as they go down the short side. Keep it in tight for Mortia. Shooting up on him, it's OJ. And then allowed. Earl Silent. to get in over. Side entry. Nine. Nine. Just the feed in the scrum. No, straight, please. Five, clear on the side. Penalty goes against Albert to Suite. Lamani also given us to word two. Opportunity lost for Fiji. And I think if you're a coach, attack penalties given away are just coach killers, aren't they? And we've seen two in a row now from Fiji. Oh, it's him from the side there. Good spot by Matt here right now. And a great kick for touch from Owen Farrell. Super exit. Well, England fancy themselves here. And strike for hook for half time would be a real body blow. And there it is for Laws. You hear drive it now. It'll come away for Owen Farrell. Ball back and field, but no way through. Okay. Tell Jay down low. He's had a busy, prominent first half. They come out the back. A little chip kick over the top for Daly. Sweeping across Fiji. Having to get there eventually. Running inside his own goal and eventually out of it. It's brilliant. A bit of work. No. Fiji. Send this away and send us into half time. What has been an entertaining first half of rugby, but one that England has controlled. And they go to the break with a handy advantage. Joe Marchant, one of the scorers. Mani Tui Langi as well. And it's England 21, CG 10 at half time in the quarter final. Second half underway, it's England leading Fiji, 21 points to 10. As the ball is brought down by the ever-present Courtney Laws. He played his 100th test for England during that loss to Fiji at Twickenham just a month and a half ago. Mutter underneath this one. The try scorer for Fiji claims it on halfway. It's Masaki Dongi in 18. He's had to put a bit going to have to put in a big shift. Coming into the game early. There's this kick. He's fielded comfortably. Oh, the difference between the two teams as well, the, the quality of the box kicks. Oh. Alex Mitchell has been spot okay, on. We play. Frank Lamoni, you said it, he's popped it over the top a few times. No real heart, easy to gather. Tom Curry, just down on back plate for England. Courtney Laws got bundled into touch once in the first half, but he has been ever present. Won a great turnover at one point. Mata had a 
strong okay. first 40 as well. Time back on. He's one of those players you talk about, only 25, but his 51st test for England, Tom Curry. He's made been, his debut at 18. He's been around forever, hasn't he? It just seems like he's been ever present for the last 10 years. Chance for Fiji to get some early momentum in this no, second half. It'll be Tavita Ikinaveri to funnel it back. And away they come, Hamosi. Spent 10 minutes in the sin bin and he's had that ripped away by Farrell. Great play from the England skipper. Bonizia, available. Here is Mitchell with that excellent right boot. This one a little longer and easily claimed at the back. I draw a set seat. Put the curse on him. He's kicked them all perfectly. Till I said he's kicked them perfectly. They send this one back down and England a little chance to run it back before it goes to the air again. Move back, back. Lamani to claim this one for Fiji and that oh, looked a spread here, slightly jagged line for England. That's exactly what Draw Sissi does. Curry tries to get hands on it, disrupts Lamani, but it's still there for Fiji. And now it's bang downfield, but Mitchell fields it easily. England look to return favour, Andradra. Well, it's a little shallower than he realised. Still takes it expertly, Semi Andradra. Then you check it. Can you have a look, Benny? Yeah, the referees ask TMO to have a look at something in there. We'll see as Elliot Daly comes away and now Marcus Smith brings it to the line. It's flat. Okay, for no Earl. Full play. Okay, please. A little chip dinking behind the Fiji defence. Well, it's a clever little kick. Rodradra had to play it. It did brilliantly well as May bared down on him. Fiji just having to scramble this out of their own territory at the moment. Daly with a chance to run it back at them. Gets rid of the first defender, weaves his way around a couple of others. It's a great carry. England swing back on to attack Ben Earl. Oh, oh Bortia though. Just went ground, past first. it on the ground first of all. First on the ground and then on the board. Lovely counter-attack from Elliot Daly. Brilliant the work on the far side from the other left winger. Attack the ball Rodrigo. first, please. Oh, and this is back to mall time, worrying times for Fiji. England really looking to turn the screws early in this half. As the ball. Squad ball members, first. a few walking wounded in there. No, Watch on. Run and ball after. Yeah, Just went past him and he more to the yeah, hands on the ground. Play. Trouble here for Fiji as that's a brilliant line out once more for Atoje. It's tucked in the back. And England will rumble forward through Jamie George. Powering towards the Fiji line as the defence splinters away. They come at them again, just stopping them ball short. Ball. Ball. Now Fiji, bodies no. piling in everywhere. No, Mitchell no, trying no, to find no. it. They've done brilliantly no, no, well. Don't hold him. Yeah, we. It's not like that referee. No, don't hold him. The jersey. Yeah, no. hey, again. I don't want you to hold the jersey, please. Thank you. Uh, just holding on there, instigating drama, causing trouble. Uh, and got the just reward, semi, a penalty against semi. him. We we already but let's checked go back it. The brilliant okay. defence at the no ball, wasn't it? That, that, that was what we say. My team was checked it in the background. Okay, there is no full play. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Just Ali. Next up. Don't hold the, the guy, please. Well, there's a little psychological gain there for Fiji. The mall has been the one area England has exploited beautifully. They've defended it well. England have sacked all of Fiji's okay, malls. Fiji have somehow found a way to repel a, a strong English effort this time round. Come off. Subs. Yeah. They've got to change uh, for Fiji with uh, Sir Ali Mancala, who's going to come on to replace a man, Vinaya Habosi. This one knocked away on England's side, and it falls for Maro Otoje again. 
Sorelli Mangala on in 23, he was lively. And the loss to Portugal, but they've got trouble here, Fiji. Oh, there's another big collision of bodies. Play on is the call again, Fiji, just with a hurried, scrambled kick away, a little panicked. Now's England to open up once more for Smith and now Marchant with his great footwork. Eventually stopped by Tui Sova. England really pressurising Fiji's defence here. Good tackle from Ultia. They're fluent and fast. The white jerseys at the moment. Daly. Farrell will send this one up. Rundraja underneath it on his own 22 comes forward and it's outstanding. Once more, oh, Butsitu puts a little ball over the top for Naya Thalevu. Aerial skill of Rundraja again. Stay back. Helping to relieve some of the pressure ah, on Fiji here. if they can get a good clearance here. Lamani. Smith unhurried or unhassled to receive the kick. And now some space in behind here for Fiji. Was it gone out on the full? It was heading out on the full. Let's see if Fijian player coming across who's cleaned up everyone, draw Sissi. Yeah, luckily the ball girl, she's actually up on her feet and she's got a smile on her face. No, no, no damage done. Very close though. She's fine. Oh gosh, it was closer than I was aware. Apologies. Cheapers. Fair play to her, she bounced up quickly and here go Fiji looking to bounce back as well. Trying to get a bit of ball movement going is Magala bouncing out of the tackle. Rundraja in some space this time. Earl comes across, tips him up. Pop ball for draw, Sissi. Fiji starting to keep that ball alive. Curry has raced up. They've got a penalty coming their way, Fiji. First knock on, second. Well, it's a knock on, in fact, so Curry was onside. Ball is out. Okay. Well, of course, there's no breakdown there. There's a couple of little pop passes, which meant there's no real offside line. Curry title to subs. chase it up here. Wonderful to just see that ball going wide, and the little inside pass was barely, barely on the line, I guess, but got away with it. There's the little pop pass, and finally a breakdown. Beautiful little inside pop. He is dangerous, isn't he, Sir Eli Magala? Okay. Samuel back on. Fiji have decided to make a couple of changes in the front row. So we've got uh, Roni Maui, Tivita Ikanivere, who's going to be placed by, by Samuel Matavesi and Penny Ravai. It's a lot of experience to bring on Sam Matavesi. We send our condolences to his family of the passing of their father, Sorelli. He's presented his jersey by his brothers, Joel and Josh, on Friday. Oh, boss. Guys, wait my call, the boss. I'm not moving. The important moving. moment in this game, isn't it? The second half, it's scoreless. It's Fiji, you've managed to repel the, the English mall. They now have a chance right down in the red zone to get ball in hand and create something. They found a bit of space for their back line in the last minute or so. Can't help feeling that man there is pivotal in terms of their efforts to cross the white line. Romani <laughs> clears quickly from the base of the scrum. Charging forward, now at the level. On the shoulder, ball pop for Butitu. England clinging her on around the ankles. It spilled out on England's side. It's a scrap and a hassle for the ball, and Laws has won it. Use it. Mitchell just calms things down, decides where to use it from. It's through the hands of Ellis Genge. Chesham gives Mitchell the protection he needs. we will find the safety of the touchline once more, but well, Fiji, they are looking to go. Wanted to keep that alive too, draw Sissi. Couldn't quite. Really strong carry from Ellis Genge, wasn't it? Just gave his team a little bit of, a little bit of leeway, a couple of metres forward. 
Just time for the kick. Great bit of attack play as well from Fiji. A couple of little offloads, a couple of little pop passes, and that just pulled out of the breakdown. And who was on hand? Courtney Laws once again. Matavisi finds his first target. Let's draw Sisi. They'll to funnel it back. It's a little awkward for Fiji. In fact, it's gone into England's hands. Toje has got in there and ripped it away once more. Again, just allows Mitchell to dictate with that boot, right boot. Magala comes forward, loses control, and Curry scoots it up. England now look to turn defence into attack. Genj, but a footwork in the middle, bumps off Bozitu and peels off 10 metres. Great carry again from Genj. Fiji flood through, though. What's, what's and up the ball here? lands on England's side. Marchant stabs a clever little kick through. As Fiji again sweep across, draws Sessi, tries to stay in and can't do so. Victory for England, the little battle within the battles. And many of those little battles are going their way at the moment, the ones that certainly count. Oh, and Farrell, first instinct to go back to the forwards, they may well have been on on the outside, but uh, again, Ellis Genji, so good ball in hand, made some really important carries. Numbers. Yeah, the calls were the right call. Five. So, uh, Joe Assessi had a foot in touch when he made the little pass. They go for Atolje. And then back in field for Daly. Tackle! Lining up again, Genj. Mitchell picking out his runners left and right. Or oh, Smith. They came flying at him, yeah. tripped up, but they were offside, Fiji. Pilar's offside. Player next to the rock. Offside. Well, let's take some out of 14 if Farrell does have a shot at goal. Captain. Pause. Yeah. It's the right decision. Keep that scoreboard ticking over. No score in the second half. Offside, first man at the ruck, said Matteo Renal. Bit awkward for Marcus Smith there, didn't it? Oh, that lip of his is bleeding a little bit once again. Courageous day for the young fullback. Farrell just puts a little bit of daylight between England and Fiji now. England 24, Fiji 10, 53 minutes gone. Called by number 10, Owen Farrell. Le score est de 24 pour l'Angleterre, à 10 pour les Fiji. The score in England 24, Fiji 10. Courtney Laws. Laws and Atoja, they've been prominent, haven't they? A couple of those veteran players. Mitchell, this time a little shallower. As Mata flings himself into the air and over the top of bodies, it still lands for England. It's all falling their way at the moment. Tui Lange. He chopped back in field. He's looking to accelerate oh, through Johnny May. Thank you. Tangi Tangi Valu told to get out of there. Big shot put on by Penny Ravai. No, don't touch the nine. Farrell sends it down. There's this aerial threat, just bombardment at Fiji. It's lost everyone on the way through, has it? Fiji claiming that, there was no touch. Fiji touch the ball. I see no one into touch. Benny, you come here? Draw says he's not going to get that call his way. To the subs. Yeah, we've got a couple of changes taking Nine place now for uh, the key match. Yeah, double. Tengi, Tengi Ta and Tengi Givalu, um, replaced L by um, Meli. 
Donal Lange, Lange and uh, Simeone Kuravoli is going to come on for number nine, Frank Lamani. England, Fiji right. board. Fiji board. You went that far. Touched by England. <laughs> Cheers, man. That's your ball, guys. Meli Dereni Lange. Ratu Meli Dereni Lange. Chiefly title, Olympic gold medal winning captain. And Simeone Kuravoli, a really good game. Thanks, Ben. For Fiji. And a good kicker of the ball as well. Another sack from the mall by England. Another good sack, another legal sack. The timing's been perfect, isn't it? And here's Kurivoli. Penny Ravai, 13th Rugby World Cup appearance, second equal for Fiji. Here's Kurivoli. Daly underneath it though, the oncoming defence slips away from Magala. Hutter just dives at him. Got a broken field play for Smith here, which is where he's very dangerous. Just as willing to throw themselves into contact, England. with the control. Draw Sessi releases quickly for Magala. Back into the traffic for Mortia. Doesn't mind playing on the winger in the midfield either. Feel that Fiji have to be next to score. Andraja and close. Getting rid of one and then slipping a nice ball for Matavesi. Gets the return ball for Andraja. Then the no-look pass. Wasn't there for Toy Solva, but it was for Nayat the Levu. Did you? And there's going to be a penalty for off the ball. Well, against Toy Solva. Stop, 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 stop. The England player went flying. 12, obstruction. Is that little ball over the top that just 12. changed all the, tra the running 12, lines? Obstruction. What's on this ball? No, but because you do a line break and there is an obstruction, you can you can have the line break because you have the obstruction. I think this is accidental, but I think this is probably quite right because it is Johnny May who's knocked out the way. He may well have been in a position to make a tackle. But unlucky more than anything else. Of England again look to post. They're just starting to accumulate and accumulate oh. now. Oh. And a real little swing there, you know, from, from a Fiji try scoring opportunity all of a sudden. Oh, okay. oh, it's marginal, isn't it? Oh, look at it from that angle. It's quite a tough call, actually. Oh, okay. But Fiji go from maybe a try scoring opportunity to more than likely conceding three, and the, the hands, the, the skill of Semi Randrandra coming to the fore. Trying to just kick his team on, get them back in this game. It is ebbing away from them slowly but surely right now. England's captain has been near perfect. And this one just short and just held on to by Nia Thalever, who now charges downfield. Fiji's captain throwing it back at them. Now Fiji is starting to break things up a little bit, playing a little looser. England coming through, though, and stealing it back. Mitchell, quick to get there, got himself isolated, though. Was that Courtney Laws again making the no. steal? I think it was. No, 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 stop. Yeah, it definitely stop. was. Courtney Laws. Situation getting a bit hot down here. Hopefully it'll diffuse very quickly. Well, the two men who were initially involved are miles from the fracas already. It was Kerry, he's miles away. You can't slap him either. Benny, what's. So. 
I will. Uh, do you want me to reverse the PK? Okay. Okay, seven. Seven. That's nothing in that, is there? The crowd are roaring, aren't they? Down, but... okay. well, you're going to have a shake of the hands and carry on. Twenty minutes to go. It's all heating up. So glad that it's been resolved like that. I thought Matteo Rinaldi really um, sorted that out very quickly and in a, a justified way. Small shenanigans. There's nothing in it. It's all good. And we've got changes uh, for England. Carl Sinclair coming on for Dan Cole. And Danny Kerr will come on for Alex Mitchell. Put in a very good shift for England. Fiji up towards the 22 now. Matavesi is a good ball player. And a big, big man. Look at Here's Masaki Donge. Nice quick ball for Bortsi 2 this time. Flat across the face. Not quite get the hands free. Ball pops up, spills forward though. Fiji just a little rushed. And the inaccuracies creep in. Maybe over urgent, aren't they? There's just a little hint of desperation sneaking in already. Good little outside line, just try to hang on to that ball and it's just lost it on the ground and spilled it forward. Let's go, come on. Good powerful run. Just needed to hang on to the pull. I think the Fijian team really need to be a little bit more patient when they're getting themselves into that, you know, um, final third of the uh, of the pitch because you know, to be honest with you, they're losing a lot of possession up there in the 22, where if they just went One. through the face and just remained a little bit more patient, good support play, and even slow it down a little bit and then accelerate up again. But they're losing possession three or four times now in the last uh, uh, three few phases that they've managed to get up deep in danger territory. Joe Blyne has come on as well. Just uh, a lovely little there moment there, Ellis Gange just Don't went over to his Fijian counterpart. Yeah, gave him a good ha high five and meandered off. A real nice little touch. Ellis Gange. Strong performance Ellis. Ellis. Ellis Gange. Into the final quarter of the match now. Fiji doing the chasing, England in control, 24 points to 10. Bye. Set. And the vastly experienced Danny Kerr into it to perhaps just add a little control in this final 20 as that scrum screws around and it'll be an England penalty. Run around, swing around. Scrum is balanced. Scrum is balanced and swing around the tight end. Cool cop head of Joe Moller. He's just pushed on into it. Lange away Stay from straight. the fracas there. He's giving him a little nudge. Well, this is an England side that do the basics really well. They've, they've, oh, it's just all the pressure coming through one side there and Fiji being penalised. But just going Fiji, back to the please. basics, they kick for touch well. Look, there's the little push. Well, it's something Simon Rawalui, Fiji's coach, said pre-match, that England are a great tournament team. They get into themselves in positions, finding a way, and then all this experience, and they're going to concede a penalty, however. Oh, here is the mark. Yeah, that's just shielding no at the back to the ball carrier, front No lister. access to the ball carrier, cutting off the competition. It's just the new man who's on and not quite in sync just yet, Carl Sinclair. Eighteen minutes left for Fiji to score twice to go to extra time possibly or maybe three times to win the game. Kudavoli picks up the awkward bouncing ball. Cirelli Magala, who's been elusive since coming on to the field. And Roger and nice and close and good meters here for Fiji as it's laid back. Nayatha Levu starting to become more prominent. Fiji's captain, strong with ball in hand. They line up, tipped on. Go, 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 go. 
Well, T2. Nongi up the back for Andrade, floats the ball over the top for Magala with his pace. Chops back in, steps away from one, can't get away from Smith. Good tackle from England's fullback. Advantage. Got advantage, Fiji. Again, and now once more, Andrade and close for Nye at the level with the big wide ball. Stopped just by Johnny May. Fiji pouring forward, Penny Rodney. Good try, isn't it? A team try. England scored a great team try early on. This is just wonderful stuff. Patience in the way they built up. Skill, strength, good stepping, fast feet. And the timing of the pass here, realising the rush defence on the outside was up. Bit of space on the outside for the captain. Fiji pouring forward. There's a, this is just a devastating run. Big, strong, powerful, picking the hole. Over he goes, Revo. Bringing Fiji back just in time. Now, twice in the movement we saw Sammy Randraja in midfield, ball playing, creating. Simeone Kudavoli, big kick for him. Squeaks it inside. Try is converted. Fiji pulls some points back. It's 24 17. Fans enjoy themselves with this one, of course. Penny Revai, you won't stop him from that from that range, of course. Big, big front row are charging through, using that momentum, using that strength to get himself over the line, breaking through any hands that are trying to get in the way, through the thickets and over for a 5.7 in the bag. And now it's what? Seven points separating the two. And Nathan over quite influential on the outside. Samir and Drajo getting hands on the ball more and more, looking to be an influence. Only Lawrence out there in Jersey 23 now for England. Here's Rundraja again, gets rid of Chisholm, gets rid of Atoje. Care having a chase, runs over the top of Smith. What a charge from Rundraja. Front football and momentum coming for Fiji. Ripped away, Laws, no, he's cleared out. And advantage two, a little chip kick over the top. And flying everywhere, the Fijians. They've got a penalty. And in Iraq. The fans don't like it. The question is, was the ruck formed or not? I think it may well have been formed. Laws was just a fraction late, but late he was. Six wide. Oh, he is a handful, Semi Randrata. We just said he's looking for the ball, getting his hands on it. Pass two over one. Come. Yeah, the post. influential left winger. Oh, there is no oh it's a second go, that's what it is. Oh, he has damaged seconds, goods, yeah? isn't he? It looks like he's got another gash Nine. on the side of his head. So, Paul Marcus Smith. Seconds. Courageous afternoon from Look him. Battered and bruised and got Semi Randradra trying to run over the top of him every time he sees him. Massive kick for Simeone. Kuravoli. Precise with his routine. And it bounces off the post, and it's going to just land for Fiji. It was Denon Elangi who flew for it. So the penalty misses, but it's Fiji ball inside England's 22. And on the ground. Here is Dede Nelangi out the back, through the hands they go to his silver playing wide. Kerr stops him. It's a good tackle from the England scrum half. Look, T2 to the line. No way through Curry and Marla. England's defence gets nicely organised again. Curry comes through to disrupt. Again, broken field play. They reset again, losing a bit of ground. 
And Fiji back to almost where high the kick was around. taken. They've got another Under. penalty for a high shot. Rundraja with a little okay. start there and a short ball. Marcelo Sala puts it on the chest for the Lamoni Fultitu. Randra with the with the most delicious little offload. Look at this. Oh, how did he slip that? Time off. off for the kicker. Time off for the kicker. Time off for the kicker. What a run it was too from Nasila Sila. He made his pass perfectly. It's a great Fijian try. Wow. Two snappy little tries in the space of a couple of minutes has leveled what has become the most amazing quarterfinal. From 24 points to 10, it's now 24 points apiece. Fiji flying back into the quarterfinal. Wonderful score there from uh, Villamone Portitu. He's only played three games at number 10 in his career. This is number four. Just to control it in the back. Still to use it now. Rolls one over the top. It's going to bounce for Marcus Smith. Bandaged up, battered and bruised. And with another fresh jersey on, no number on the back of Marcus Smith now. He's gone through two. England still wanting to attack. And they found a hole for Laws here. Excellent run from Courtney Laws. Tipped up as Sinclair. The ball is quick, the feet are excellent. Here goes early, superb Ben Earl. And he's got England driving forward once more to Ilangi. Oh, couldn't give it. They round upon him. He had Daly on the edge. Still there for England, though. It's George Martin into the fray. Fiji having to defend their line, Marla. Great hands down low, Laws once more. England now a chance to click through some phases, creating some space for Smith, his footwork. He's stopped again. Lining up, Sinclair and Martin. Martin it is. Care for a Toje. He's got Laws beside him, and Earl is there. Here once more out the back, a drop goal attempt from England. It's good, it's calm, it's collected, and Owen Farrell obliges. Not a lot on on the outside. Farrell just dropped back cleverly into the pocket. Puts England ahead again. Real smart play. Not a whole lot on. Fiji defence pushing, chasing England back, take the three. Smart move. England, 27, Fiji, 27-24 now. It's got a change for Fiji with uh, Seppo Massi, who's going to come on. Just want to find out who's going who to replace. It looks like it's uh, Elias uh, Jorasizzi. Full back. Yosefo Masi is another Olympic gold medalist to throw out there for Fiji. Okay. It's going to be Joshua Tuasova. It comes off. He's lumping. He's 
battered and bruised. He's had a, such a physical tournament. So if Fiji got another response, they have with that kickoff. Oh, precision. I'm not sure Laws needed to catch it. It may well have gone out on the foot. No, he wouldn't have. It's a precision kickoff. The right boot oh, just next to the line. The here, so and Fiji the are back on the attack, and the crowd are dancing and on their feet once again. Fiji. Five. No. We play. Just looking Fiji shaping up at the moment. Ayatha Levy in it. Inside centre and Massey in it. The ball, the ball. The 13 the centre position. First job though is Matavisi to hit a target and he does find dead in Elangi ball bouncing around. England again have been excellent at disrupting that line out and they force Fiji into a mistake. It's the sack again at the mall. What what we say in the changing room? Okay. okay. Just my idea. But then collecting the ball. No, no, no. What? No, that, 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 that's illegal. Okay, what is yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. The big fella, Darren Alangi. Yeah, I think they just pull him over while ball in hand. It's a very well orchestrated sack. Seven. Seven. Billy Winnipeola makes his way on as well. It's just such a privilege, I guess, for England to have so many experienced old campaigners who can come on at a time like this with calm heads under enormous pressure. Contest, isn't it? Fiji coming back beautifully. Don't, Looked like they were under a little bit of pressure. Don't England just kept that pressure going. Down. Fiji responded. Would have Where been easy to give a penalty one way or the other there. That's your Renault saying let's let's scrum again. Okay? Keep keep low, both of you. Low. Okay, good contest. Keep you ready. Thank you. And then Fiji, two tries. Ravine. Rotitu to make it 24 all. The drop goal. Watch. Owen Farrell nudges England ahead once more as we five. nudge towards the last five minutes of this quarter final. A pulsating South affair in Marseille. No, stay straight. Karen could have only had a go, and Napola just takes matters into his own hands. Mortiet couldn't get over it. It'll be there for England to just carry forward with Carl Sinclair. And then look to make the exit. Stay bind, fully bind, use it now. Through Danny Kerr. And he does go to the safety of the sideline, but it's still only 25, 30 odd metres out. Well, it's, a, it's, it's such a difficult choice there, isn't it? There's a little, little stomp on Danny Kerr's foot there, to be okay. fair. Not sure he did it on purpose, but he certainly did. The, the, the temptation there is to kick the up and under, or do you kick it out, do you kick it long, do you kick a kick for possession? He's chosen to kick it out, it does mean they can contest once again the Fijian line out. Knocked away for Kudavoli. Here come Fiji once more. Magala tries to spin out of a couple of tackles. Good defence from England. Kudavoli, little short ball. It's landed for England and it might create some space straight up the middle. Carving a track, Elliot Daly. Not quite going to all have the pace. Just knocked over. It was Ben Earl, excuse me. Oh, and on the ground. And right the up ground. the middle and they've got the penalty as well. Care to control it. Oh, off it. And now Fiji will concede yeah. that penalty. And on the ground and then off it. It's a brutal blow, but it was a brilliant run. Boy, he's got some pace, Ben Earl, doesn't he? This late in the game to go like that. Marginal little... The first contest is end on the ground, clearly end on the ground, prevent, prevent to reach the ball. And second here, you've got a clear off hit. 
Well, accuracy is so important that the margin's so tight in a game like this. The little offload just missing the runner. Look at this through the guys. The little pop pass too hard on hand was Massey. You may, you may well have been under the poles had that gone to hand. Instead, it's gone all the way up the other side. This man has been an absolute revelation for England for the tournament. Big and strong and powerful with real pace. He can go, can't he? This means it's a converted try to win it for Fiji in the last two minutes, two and a half minutes. Taking all his time, Owen Farrell to put England out by six points with two and a half minutes to play. 27 24. 30 24. Scored by number 10, Owen Farrell. What if Fiji got? Is there one more roll of the dice? They've got possession just about. No, they don't. I'm going to get it, though. It's come off an England hand in there. Knock on. Come a slap back, Matthew. Huh? Come a slap back. Be careful with the force, can you? Come on. Ben, you... Big second shots down the scrum. Let's fix this. Let's fix this together. Come, Bertie. Together. Everything. Come, Liam Wolf now. Six. Yeah, play on, please. England, more please he come can on. do, just come on, Julie Silva, battered and bruised. England being given the hurry up. It's Fiji. And pack the scrum 25 metres out. Oh, and they are capable, aren't they? Stretch! Straight, huh? Bind! How oh, wonderful have the quarterfinals of the Rugby World Seven. Cup been. Perhaps one more chance for Fiji. Oh, the scrum's good from England, though. Controlled by Mata. And he's going to have to pick it up. They'll reset the scrum. Scrum again. If the scrum move, ball available, you can use it. Can we make sure they hold the ball, please? No feeding. Make sure they don't talk to Hold the ball. That's fine. Okay. Hey, let's go, let's go. Who'd want to be a coach at a time like this? Please. 30 seconds to play. Fiji needs a converted try to snatch this. Some hard yards through the big men. Misaki Dongi, it was tried to be ripped away by George. The Iron Man and the England pack, Jamie George, almost stole it, but not yet. Still there for Fiji and Peniravai. Now Silla Silla lines up. Another enormous game from him. From a standing start, Fiji 
One-off runners trying to create something. Kudavoli. Bortia out the back, Rundradra. The hands are good down low for Magala. England trying to pile in, Fiji protect the ball. Viliami Mata, who got Fiji rolling with that brilliant try. Again, running into the traffic, dead in Elangi. Fiji with all their game breakers, flat ball into the hands of good, just for Meramira. They're not making much ground, though, at the moment. Ravai stopped in his tracks. They peel away again, and England pick themselves up the floor. Big, massive wide ball for some space for the big carriers wide. Nine! Well, shades of last night's quarterfinal. One team hammering, the other defending. Mussy. Now they try to spread it. They've lost more ground here, Fiji. Looking to keep the ball alive as it been knocked off an England hand. Oh, we'd check it. We check, well, I, I would check it. I would, not, I, I would check it. I would check if it's a deliberate knock on. Please, Ben. The game's not done. I just want to check a potential deliberate knock on. I'm not sure it is, actually. And Fiji just had gone away from their tactics a little, become a little conservative and up the middle. Oh, they've oh, gone and played slowly. Give me space. It's coming up backwards. on screen now for you, Matthew. Key moment, obviously. Yeah, that's a deliberate knock-on. That's a deliberate knock-on, it is. Is, it, is there... Is there an opportunity of line break beyond that, yes or no? Yeah, we're going to have a look for the wide. Yeah, Here's give the me wide. the wide angle, please. Fiji, fight on. It's coming up on screen now, Matthew, hang on. It was a little bit of a loose pass. They've been given a laugh line, yeah? No, I don't think so. There is a player back. He's not in position to receive the ball, yeah, so the, I would say on penalty kick only. The pass was never going to get to 20. So, uh, I, I will, so that's a deliberate knock-on for me, so that's a penalty kick against you. So Fiji will get a chance to no, send be, this be, into be, touch be, and launch again. Can you put it again on the screen? Because he's not in, pos in, in position to catch the ball, the Fijian player. So I don't think there is a line-back opportunity. Are you agree with that, Ben? OK, the pass never got to 20. The okay, second so question was with a line break opportunity, so does it become a yellow card? It's not a yellow card, is it? It's, it's, it's a hand in there, it's consistency. It's a, OK, it's a, fine. It's a knock-on, deliberate penalty is enough. Fiji get the lifeline and on we go. Oh, that's not a good kick, though. 85th minute, and this line-out will come on the 10-metre line inside England's half. Matavesi just finds his target, the bouncing ball. Lands for Vileve Miramira in his first appearance at the World Cup. What a time to come in. They'll set on halfway. Ravai, try scorer. Thank you. England's tacklers have to release, and still we go on. Matavesi. Irene Lange, Laws looking, is he allowed to have a go, Courtney Laws? He's wrestling in there and he's won it! He's won the turnover! And he's won England through to the semi-finals! Oh, 18 is off feet. 18 off feet. Oh, can I speak? No, oh, wait. Wait. No! Can I, 
Can I speak to you? Come. Uh, oh, that's all. Let me do it again. Yeah. 18 of feet and then holding on. They've once again found a way. 50 days ago, England were beaten by Fiji and their World Cup hopes were written off. And today they've turned the tables to earn a place in the semi-finals.